So in this one, we're going to be embedding a video into our site so we can actually see it. Um, I'm going to be using a Coding for Entrepreneurs video, but any YouTube video or any video that's embeddable can actually do this exact same thing. Um, so on here, we're going to be looking at our MVP landing and we want the video to be replacing this spot right here, or at least sitting inside of this spot. So the first thing I'm going to do is I go into YouTube and I find a video that I want to share or embed, and then I look for this share button. What we're actually really looking for here is embed code. So I clicked on embed and it shows me this embed code. That is the code that you're going to want to see. Typically, it's going to start with iframe. So iframe is allowing us to embed some another website on our page. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and we'll go into our base.html and we'll, or excuse me, we'll go into our home.html and we want to change this, this class right here, which was having the ability for a black background. I'm going to paste this in here and notice that we have a height of 315 versus the height of 300. So I'm going to go ahead and just change our inline style sheets to 315 and we'll go back into our homepage and refresh. And now we see this video is actually here and it's coming through. Um, so it's, it's showing up just as we might want it to. And then if we collapse down, it's still going to show up and notice that black background is still there. Um, and the video is not responsive, so it's not actually changing sizes. Uh, there are ways around how that works where you'd have to use some JavaScript, but as far as embedding the video, this works just fine. So now I can also just kind of get rid of this background and stuff too. I don't actually need any of the CSS, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. And we refresh in here. Now it looks a little bit better, right? So that black background, getting rid of it, just kind of cleans this whole thing up. Now, of course, if they're on a mobile device, they're going to see it and it's not really going to look that great as far as how that is. But uh, for the most part, this does work out really well uh, as far as in embedding videos. Of course, you can put an image here. So let's say, for instance, you did want to put an image there. Um, you, what you would do is instead of having this here, so I'm going to comment this out and I'm going to use an image. So image source and you would put the image source wherever it's going to be. So it could be inside of your images, just like what we did in Navbar. So it could be just like this, right? Or the source could go directly to whatever domain it is, right? So like, for example, uh, if I copy this and pasted this here and I had a .jpg extension, this in theory would be a JPEG image. Now I don't recommend using another server's images unless you know exactly what you're doing and what that server's doing. Um, I would recommend doing it this method, like how we did with the navbar. But all you would do is add a class of image-responsive and then close off this image. And then what that would do is allow it to be a responsive image. So if I refresh in here, of course, I get a broken image because this is not actually an image. Uh, but if I did have an image working there, it would actually be responsive. So let's go ahead and add in an image. I'll just search beach on Google. And I'm going to grab a beach image. So let's go ahead and grab this image. Oops. I want to go ahead and click on view image itself. Um, and it takes me to a web page, so that's not going to work. Let's go ahead and grab this one and say view image. This takes me directly to an image. And as we see with this .jpg at the end, we can go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to paste it in here. Save it. And now if I go back into MVP landing, I see that there's that image there. And it is now responsive. Notice it's changing sizes as my browser changes. So images work just fine doing that. Uh, videos, on the other hand, don't work without using JavaScript or some other plugin that would allow you to do it. Um, so that's how you would actually put in images and you can use this image responsive anywhere. It doesn't have to be here. So that being said, let's go ahead and cut this out and I'm going to uncomment this, leave that as a video. So we refresh in here. Now that video is back and now down at the bottom with built uh, like some of these little sales materials here, we might want to put some images in here. So I refresh down here save this as an image. And now I've got this image showing up in here, but this is not going to be good for us. This is going to be okay, but it's not really going to be a long-term solution because if this server goes down and ours doesn't, we're going to, we're going to be in an interesting spot. So let's actually save this to our server. So I'm going to save this image as, and I'm going to go into IMG and make sure that you're in source static and pro our static image. And then we are going to call this, let's say marketing one dot JPEG and it downloads it. I can now close this out and I can also close out YouTube. And now we had, we called it marketing one. So in our images here, we see marketing one there. 
So if I change this to our static tag, so static, double quotes, and it'll be img slash marketing one dot JPEG. That's now gonna be our image. So we refresh in here, invalid block tag static. Well, that should mean that we need to add the load static files up here. We refresh and now we can see this image. Cool. Uh, so that's how you could repeat that same thing for all these other little spots here. We could add more images in if we wanted. But I'm going to show you another library that's actually really cool. And it's not an image, but it's CSS and it gives us some icons. It's similar to if we look at the glyph icons here in Bootstrap. It's similar to this, but it's a little bit more powerful. So we'll actually talk about that one in the next one. If you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.